for the last 27 years, I've been the most important man in Hannah's life. And that changed today. One of the reasons that that changed today is because she chose you. And what Carol and I want you to know is we choose you as well. It was in the fall of 2013, and Hannah had just started uh, her first year at Ferris State, her first day. When you first told me your name, I didn't hear what you said. Carol and Dan were getting her settled in, and there was a sheet to be signed stating that the uh, furniture in the dorm was in perfect order, and it was not. Carol said, I'm not paying for these scratches. So the word went out of the dorm, and quickly the RA needed to report to the Wilkins dorm this matter of the scratched furniture. And when Joe walked in, I understand that Hanno was taken by his rugged handsomeness, his confidence, and just the way that he conducted himself. So it was because of Dan and Carol that they met. When you made it down the aisle Every moment stole my breath Bet you could see it in my smile Should've known it was you I would love until the end For almost a decade I have been learning you and loving you And with each passing year I'm honored to learn you and love you more I've always thought about the words I would say to you on this day, but truthfully, no words carry enough weight or meaning to express just how much I love and adore you. You quite simply are the most amazing man I have ever met. You're loyal, honest, dependable, and steadfast. Your character is strong and unwavering, even through the most difficult times. To love you is an honor, but the true gift is being loved by you. If you look into my eyes When our time down here is spent It's in every single line Hope you know it was you that I loved until the end Imagine the day when your spouse will stand face to face before God. The greatest mission for your marriage is to help the other be best prepared for that day when you hear the words, well done, good and faithful servant. Hannah, I knew long ago that this day would come. Having you as my wife and my partner in life is the best thing that's ever happened to me. I look forward to the years ahead with you, starting our family and filling those years with memories. We both know that not all of those memories will be good ones, but I have a partner that God intended for me through all of those hard times. And this was all planned and it was all by design. As I thought about what I was going to say about Joe today, I mentally went over the long list, as it turned out, of great qualities that he has. It's been a beautiful thing to witness how loyal he is, if you're his family or you're his friend, you know what I'm talking about. From hell or high water, <laughs> may the men at this table always have Joe's back. Absolutely. Cheers. Cheers. I've known Joey since fourth grade. And the first time I met Joey, we didn't like each other. Until the very next year, we had to sit next to each other. And from that moment on, it would uh, change my life. I got a family. Joe and Sandy got a son that was her unplanned child. That's me. I've been lucky enough to be there from the start of the relationship, and I can say without a doubt that these two people are meant for each other. I've seen the love you have for each other, and I know you'll both work so hard to make each other happy.
when Hannah was four years old. I said to myself, self, why should you drop her off at preschool and come back to an empty house? You can teach her yourself. What I didn't know was God was using that school year to create a bond between her and I that I never imagined was possible. In the 23 years since that school year, the bond that her and I have shared has been one of the greatest joys of my life. Who gives this beautiful woman to be married today? Her mother and I. Recorded in the book of John, Jesus washed his disciples' feet. In light of this amazing display of this selfless act, Joe and Hannah have included this as part of their declaration to lovingly and tenderly serve one another with humility. Joe and Hannah, it is with great pleasure that I now declare you husband and wife, Joe. You may kiss your bride. When Joe and I got engaged and we started making our guest list, there's a lot of you in here, but we only invited the people in this room that I could not picture me being without, Joe being without, or us as a couple being without. And we're just so honored that you guys are here to celebrate this with us tonight.